Hey, so this is a little follow-up on Abel. Uh, we're going to show you some of the stuff that I've been doing with him to help him get through this process. Some of the stuff was shot like the first, second, third day he came in. So it's a little bit rough, uh, but we've been cleaning that up. And uh, so we'll just let you take a look at what we've been doing. So I'm out here this morning working with Abel on doing some uh, remote collar foundation work. So we're just working on his, his recall. Let's go! And his direction change. Good boy, buddy. I'm just going to hone his skill sets, his sits, his downs, um, teach him to go to a place. But the thing is, is I'm not using it for a punitive. Let's go. Good boy. Um, what I'm doing is using it to interrupt and then redirect him. So when we come into working in closer proximity with people, you'll see that uh, he does get a little bit nervous around him. So instead of... Abel, Abel, good boy, buddy, good job. Uh, instead of uh, correcting him for actually doing the behavior, what I want to do is interrupt the precursor and then redirect him back to something um, better, which is to come back to me, to sit, and also I'll be working on releasing him to go see people. So today we're out here working with Abel doing place work. I'm going to show you how he is coming out of the crate, just kind of on his own, what he's been doing and what we're doing to break it down for him because he's very anxious in the crate and when he comes out of the crate and when he comes outside. So the, the end goal is to achieve what everybody has going on here. There's Fenway and there's Tanaya and there's Edie and Hoku's over here trying to kill some flies. So I haven't asked these guys to go onto their place or lay down. This is just kind of what they naturally do. And so that's my goal for my boy here, Abel. That's right, buddy, he's kind of getting there. But we're gonna show you how we break it down. So what we're going to do is show you how I'm bringing Abel out of the crate. As you can see, he's very, very worked up, very anxious to get out of here. So the first step is that I wait for some eye contact here before I undo this, this first latch. Because these are all triggers for him to get excited. Um, right there, there's one. So I really have to break it down for him. So next I'm going to wait until he, he comes up and gives me eye contact there. I'm going to swing the door open. The big part is... So I'm going to put the leash on, but it's still not an invitation to come out. So if I have to use the leash to block or use the door to have him back up, I'm going to do it. The key here is, is I know he's <clears throat> really thirsty because of this, this panting. So what he typically wants to do is run out of the crate, drag me outside, and drag me to the water bowl. Then I'm going to control that entire situation. So from the moment I bring him here out of the crate, right here I'm going to get control here. As we come out the door, here, and ask for the same thing here. There we go. So I know he's going to want to drag me over to the water bowl. So what I'm going to do, bring him out. And I'm going to take him to the place board. Place. Plats. Plats. Nope. Place. Place. Right there. Plats. Back up. Plats. Relax. I'm going to release him over to the water. Got to work for everything. When it comes to feeding time, uh, he does this spinning in the crate every time I'm coming out with the food. And that's actually a cycle that's not good. That's something he was doing uh, and he still will do uh, if he gets on somebody and he lashes out and then he gets on somebody else and he goes after the next person. So you'll see when I'm uh, bringing the food out, um, I'm actually using the collar in a cadence style not one tap but i have a level that's set that's just appropriate for him and what i do is i just do a rhythmic cadence and then you'll see he comes out of that cycle and he'll lay back down in the crate so so what i did is when i stepped out and you saw him Start in a circle, I just have a, a level predetermined on the collar and I'm just pulsing it. 
And what she does is he ends up defaulting to a sit here facing the door, which is where the food comes in. Okay. So I'm down here with Abel today on the Strand. Awesome day. Be working a dog. Um, and there's Abel. He's doing really well. So what we do is I ended up going with a slip lead on him. And the figure eight over his muzzle is much um, more effective than the Halty. Um, Halty had too much slack in it. Let's go. So that's pretty much my first week I spent with Abel, um, but I like to focus on a lot of the nuances, the, uh, the crate, the feeding, the coming out of the crate, and obviously the vet visit was not expected, but we um, took advantage of it and worked him through that, and we're going to go back again. So we'll uh, follow up with another video when he's about ready to go home. All right, buddy?